Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Friday, April 14th of 2023. All right, we got our lineup here. We're gonna roll the dice. And we got a three. Put that there. And we got number three. We're gonna roll the generator three times. All right, we got Gypsy Queen. This is Rebecca's favorite. All right, let's. We got four. I think we have four packs. Left. There's our numbers. Oh, we're missing a number. Maybe it's inside the packs. I don't know. All right, we'll skip that for now because we don't want to do that. We'll let her just pick a random pack here. Pick one of those. All right, we got number probably. What's the number? Two. Okay. All right, start opening that. We'll get going on that. This, I heard this set was going away, but I couldn't confirm that online, so I'm not sure. I just got done. This is Thursday, watching the Tampa Bay Rays, and they are 13-0 now. Watch the fifth inning. They had, like, seven runs in the fifth inning. They were down 3-1, so they ended up winning. Zach McKinstry. All right. I don't know if he's playing right now. All right, let's see what he's doing for the Dodgers now. He's with the Cubs now. This year he has. 19 at-bats, two runs, three hits, no home runs, no RBIs, one stolen base with a low 158 average. Okay, this one, he's on the Dodgers. The picture shows the Cubs, but it says the Detroit Tigers, so Detroit's not very good. So he's with Detroit, and yeah. Max Scherzer. All right. He is a future Hall of Famer. I think his first team was the Detroit Tigers. Now he's with the Mets. Two wins, one loss, 4.41 ear rate, three games, three games started, 16.1 innings pitched with 14 strikeouts. All right, we're going to put him over here on the maybe put him up there pile. Not the greatest start to the season, but... Willie Castro. Is that who that is? How do you spell it? Turn it over. I'm going to see how you spell his first name there. W-I-L-L-I. -L -L -I. Alright. That shows Detroit. And he's with the Minnesota Twins. 13 at-bats, 2 runs, 2 hits, no home runs, 1 RBI, no slow base, with a low 154 average. Yeah, not a whole lot going on with these players here. Kind of boo. Paul DeYoung. Alright. Alright, Paul DeYoung with the Cardinals, and he's on the 10-day injured list. Uh... Let's just see what he did last year. We'll just read last year's stats for him. Two hundred and ten at bats, nineteen runs, thirty-three hits, six home runs, twenty-five RBIs, three stolen bases. With the 157 average. So yeah, he must have been injured last year, too. So he only had 77 games. So he's in the no pile. All right, we got the green. Miguel Cabrera. Not playing so well this year so far. Future Hall of Famer, I would assume. Of course, he, in his career, he's had the triple crown, which is completely hard to get. 24 bets, no runs, 5 hits, no home runs, 2 RBIs, no stolen bases, with a 208 average. Alright, we're going to do put these guys up here who we think are going to be future Hall of Famers. Put Miguel Cabrera up there. Jonathan India. Forty-two at bats, twelve runs, thirteen hits, one home run, three RBIs, two stolen bases, with a good three ten average. All right, two weeks in, I'm gonna put him up there because three ten is pretty good for two weeks in. Marco Conforto. Michael Conforto. All right, the Cubs. 
See if he's still there. May not be, but we never know. Nope, he's with the San Francisco Giants. 40 at-bats, 9 runs, 9 hits, 3 home runs, 6 RBIs, 1 stolen base with a 225 average. All right. You go in the no-good pile because not having the best start for the season. And, all right, I want to do... Let's see, I want to check something out right here. I know I want to see who's the number one batter right now. I can't remember who it was, but I know they're batting like around 500, and that's incredible for two weeks in on the season. Um, let's see. Let's see. And we hope you guys are having a good week. Good end to your week. All right. Matt Chapman of Toronto. This is what he's doing so far this year. 47 at bats, 10 runs, 23 hits, 3 home runs, 15 RBIs. And with he has a 489 average with one stolen base. So yeah, he's doing pretty good. The Blue Jays have a really good batting average, but uh, could win a few more games. But yeah, tell us what you think about this product. If you've heard that it's going away or not, I thought I heard that somewhere, but I could be wrong. And just tell us what your favorite card is. And we hope you have a great weekend. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back on Monday with more stats and packs. Thanks for watching.